Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to be looking at collision and broadcast domains. So we define what collision domains are. We will also define broadcast domains and we will look at an example of how to identify collision and broadcast domains. So let's get started. What are collision domains? A collision domain is the part of the network in which you can experience a collision. So for instance, if you have a network and you need to communicate between two devices and they are connected together using a cable. The two devices can send messages to one another. If it's a half duplex, one after the other, and if it's a full duplex, they can send messages at the same time to one another. But what if you need to connect three devices together? In that case, you could use a device called a hub. So we could connect one device to one port on the hub, second device to the other port, and third device to the other port. But the problem with the hub is that the hub is a single collision domain, which means that when the first device is trying to send a message to the second device, and the second device is trying to send a message to the third device at the same time, they can experience a collision because it's all a single collision domain. So that's the problem with the hub. So regardless of the amount of devices that you can connect to the hub, you have to send messages one after the other, otherwise you will experience a collision. In order to fix that problem, bridges and switches were invented. So we have switches. In a switch, every single port is a different collision domain. So if we have one port connected, one computer connected to a switch, and then another computer, and then another computer, all the different ports on that switch are different collision domains. So you can send messages to different ports without any collision happening because they are not in the same collision domain. So what a switch does is that it segments a collision domain. Another definition of a switch would be a device that segments collision domains. Now, there are three types of messages that you can send from a computer to another computer. The first type is what is called a unicast message. The second type is what is called a multicast message. And the third type is what is called a broadcast message. For a unicast message, you can send from one device to another device. For the multicast message, you can send from one device to many computers. Also, broadcast, you send from one device to everybody or to all. Now, when you send a broadcast, for instance, you have a computer that is connected to a switch and it sends a broadcast message, the broadcast message is going to be received by all the ports on that switch. And if you have a switch that is connected to another switch, the broadcast message will be received by all the ports on this switch and all the ports on the other switch. So regardless of the number of switches that you have, we are still on what is called a broadcast domain. So what is a broadcast domain? A broadcast domain is the part of the network where a broadcast can be received. In fact, what are called networks these days are just broadcast domains. So if you have two computers on a network, it usually means that two computers are on the same broadcast domain. In order to segment broadcast domains, routers were created. So while switches segment collision domains, Routers are used to segment broadcast domains. So you have this router having three interfaces. Usually these three interfaces are connected to three different networks, meaning that they are connected to three different broadcast domains. So now you could connect one, a switch here, and then connect as many devices as you want to the switch, and they will all be on the same broadcast domain. But if you connect another switch to this end of the router, a device that is connected to this switch. If it sends a broadcast, the broadcast will be contained to only devices that are connected to this switch, and they would not reach the devices that are connected to this switch. This is because the broadcast domain has been segmented. So one end here is a broadcast, the other end here is a broadcast. One reason why we segment broadcast domains is because of security, 
in the sense that if one system is attacked with a virus, the system can affect all the other systems in this broadcast domain. But once you have reached the routed segment in the broadcast domain, then the virus will be contained in that broadcast domain. If we have a system here that is infected with the virus and the virus sends a broadcast, the virus can infect the system, but the system will still be safe. So this is one use of broadcast domains. And as we go on, we would see other uses of broadcast domains. Another reason why we segment broadcast domains is for bandwidth. For instance, if we have about 1,000 users in a particular network, if they are all on the same broadcast domain, that means that even legitimate broadcasts will always eat up most of the bandwidth and can slow down resources for all the 1,000 users. And there are many cases where we use broadcasts. For instance, we use broadcasts for things like ARP, which we will talk about in the next video. And ARP is the address resolution protocol. We will talk about it in the next video. We also use broadcasts for what is called DHCP. DHCP is a dynamic host configuration protocol. That's what happens when you connect a host to a network and you need it to automatically receive an IP address. It would send a broadcast requesting for an IP address so that any DHCP server on the network can assign an IP address. In this case also, you can use a lot of bandwidth if a lot of users are connected to the same broadcast domain. So it's usually advisable to segment the broadcast domains using routers. There's a way for switches to also segment the broadcast domains, but we will talk about that in a subsequent video. Now, let's move on and try to identify the collision domains and broadcast domains in this network. So this is our example network, and we're going to try to see if we can identify the number of collision domains and the number of broadcast domains. Like I said, let's count the number of collision domains that we have. The first thing we need to check is that do we have any hubs in the network? We do not have any hubs in the network. Now we have three switches on the network, so we have to count the amount of interfaces that are connected to the switches. So if we go, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now the question is, this link that's connected between two routers, is it a collision domain? And the answer is yes. A router not only segments broadcast domains, but by default, it also segments collision domains in the sense that this is definitely a different collision domain from this collision domain. So if we add that to it, then we have eight. So in total, the number of collision domains will be eight. Now, how many broadcast domains do we have here? We have two routers, but how many interfaces do we have connected to routers? Okay, so if you recall, the first one is this interface. So we can say this is one. Now that means that this whole thing is a broadcast domain. Another one is this one. So this is another broadcast domain. And then the third one would be this. You will notice that it doesn't matter the amount of switches you could have, two switches or a switch or even a hundred switches in one broadcast domain. The broadcast domain is only segmented by a router. So now we have three broadcast domains and we have eight collision domains. So I'm going to urge you to go ahead and try out more examples for yourself and try to see if you can identify the number of collision domains or network domains in a network diagram. In this video, we were able to look at collision domains and what they mean. We also examined the types of messages that can be sent. That's the unicast message, the multicast message, and the broadcast message. We also examined broadcast domains and why we have them, and we tried to look at a live example where we identified the number of collision domains and broadcast domains in your network. Thank you very much for watching this video.